a very warm welcome to Yildiz Readings 5D. Before we get into the content, a very warm welcome and an update as to what we do here. We cover your psychic energies by Zodiac, your twin flame path, astrology and more. And yes, we are live every Friday, so come along and join us and click the bell, you'll get a notification. And we do have the Members Hub. Now, the Members Hub is a protected place where twin flames can go. You also can get the pre-release content ahead of the game and all the extensions, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus due to the fact I'm a psychic medium. Now, separately, we have additional lives, but just click the bell and I'll update you. And if you do want a booking, the website link is below and above on the screen. You can see we have different styles of readings. We also have group sessions. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Sit back, relax, grab a cuppa, and I'll see you on the other side. Hi, birthday peoples. We are here to do your extension read. A very happy birthday. Now, this is a new um, update I'm doing, which is going to be monthly per Zodiac. That is their birthday. So, happy birthday, Cancer. I've pulled the cards. There is going to be an extension read. However, food for thought. If you do just enjoy this, that's fine. Otherwise, the next part of this is R rated. So, it's going to be in the extension hub. Um, and it's only what my guides have asked me to do. Okay, so that's where it is at the moment. Okay, what I'm seeing coming through for you at the moment is the messages that are being shown to me is that you guys may be feeling in your romantic life that there is temptation here. Now, I do feel for some of you, there may be a temptation to move in an opposite direction. You could really be feeling as though you can't see the hay for the clouds. There could be thoughts of toxicity in your mind um, and, and really trying to get grounded. And I feel ultimately... Um, it's asking you, this is, this is what it's asking you to do. Please get grounded. It's like, okay, get into balance, get into balance because I do feel this person is coming towards you and you guys both have a lot of chemistry. The funny thing is I do understand through the cards what it's saying and it's not saying that this is bad. Your Venus house is Capricorn and we had the full moon. Okay, so a new beginning is occurring in your love life, but there is a lot of chemistry between the both of you. And it's so funny that I've launched those as of this Cancer new moon. It's really interesting. But anywho, um, I am seeing that the key to this is letting go emotionally and trusting I do feel that's the vibration you're getting into, moving into this new moon. New moons, and especially when it's your birthday, you know, you, you don't usually feel fantastic. I'm just saying, it's, you know, it's a solar return. You may feel you don't want to be around anyone, but the key to it is you're going inside, you're moving through, you're having a rebirth, and this is where this new beginning's coming from. And I feel it's you changing. There was something in the past that really wasn't consistent. And I feel this is why you're feeling it just isn't for you. Not necessarily is it that you don't want this person. Um, but for many of you, it's simply that you're exhausted and you really don't know what to do. Uh, I don't think you're going to see this coming. I'll be perfectly honest with you. I really don't think you're going to see this coming. But the one thing I do see is there's a lot of strength between the both of you. I do feel there's going to be a lot of healing. But again, I'm feeling you're very protected and guarded of yourself at the moment. Um, this person could really... Yeah, we're going to leave that for the R-rated room. This, you're going to have to come and hear it. But I'll leave that for the for the next part. But this person really can say through you. Some of you are feeling that you've had to grow quite a bit. And some of you are feeling... Um, you know, you're really withering these storms has made you feel really exhausted and old, you know. Like, it's exhausting you. It's physically really wearing you down. I do feel um, you easing into this new moon is crucial. Because how I'm seeing this playing out is... I feel you're releasing and I feel as you're releasing and you're really not really expecting this. The one thing I can see is... There is going to be an idea and a download you're going to have. But you want this to be so much more than just intimacy. But, you know, ultimately, both of you have a great deal of chemistry together. I do feel this person is really running towards you. Um, and it, it's... I'm going to pull one more. It feels as though... 
um, they, they can't get you out of their head. They just can't forget you. They want to um, be healthy with this. You're holding your ground, but you don't want to sell yourself short. Okay? Two. I feel some of you are trying to make sense of it and that's what could potentially be blocking but I don't think it's blocking it to be quite honest. I really just don't see, um, you're not going to see this coming. I do feel you've been waiting for a very long time. And I feel you're going to be more assertive, you know, and <laughs> a more assertive as you move forward. It's almost very firm about what you do want. But I do feel there's been a lot of clearing from the past. Now, I do feel after um, after we have the new moon, I do feel this is going to ease up for you and you're going to have a revelation. I do feel there's some movement coming. I feel like some of you, it's almost logically you feel you have to create this kind of standpoint in the circumstance. It's like you're being strict with yourself. But you could be being really hard on yourself for some of the things that didn't go according to plan. And there's regrets relating to foolishness and irresponsibility, um, relating to connections, and especially this one in particular. I do feel the intent is for the give and take to be there more so. Um, but your mind is really on, you know, are you open to this or aren't you? Do, it's almost like you feel you can't forget them. But if you were to move on with someone else, you'd feel you were cheating. I'm just saying. Come through and have a look at the extension. If you do want to join us, the link is directly below. Have a very happy birthday. Love and light. And I'll see you during the week. Thanks for joining Yildiz Readings 5D. Yes, we have a whole lot more content coming up, so please subscribe so you do get the notification. Do click the bell. Now, we are live every Friday. If you look above the screen, you will see the information as well as I will start posting it the day before in the community tab to give you an update and a reminder. Those of you who are looking at how to join the Members Hub, this is where you can locate it. And also below every video, I have a link directly for that. If you do want to make a booking on the website, we do have the image of the website above here. It is quite easy to navigate through. We have a lot of webinars and different services coming up and there's a video that you can watch to help you through the process. If you have any issues in box me, please don't book and I can help you on the other side. Love and light guys, take very good care of yourselves and I'll see you throughout the months.